everyone. Welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations by Amber. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today is a great day to be here. I am doing a Fundraiser Friday update number two. So what I'm doing for the month of April here on my channel is I'm lighting it up blue for autism as well as bringing more awareness. And I have set up a fundraiser through autismspeaks.org. I'm going to leave that link down below in the description box and I'm going to tell you how we're doing in this video, give you an update on that, and then also let you know how you can enter. I'll leave the original video up top here for you to click on and then we will hop into our crafty project for this week, which I am super excited about. So let me grab my iPad and we will go ahead and take a look what happened this week so this is the fundraiser page whoopsies fundraise your way and it's through autismspeaks.org and this is the page that i see we have 250 dollar goal we have raised 85 dollars. you guys that is awesome i am so excited thank you thank you thank you to everybody who has donated and spread awareness this is amazing so we are 34 percent of the way there yay oh my gosh 15 dollars more and we will have raised a hundred dollars so i'm really praying and hoping that we can get a few more donations to come in um, so that we can make it to 50 percent of the way because we're about halfway through the month so um, we're about halfway through our goal as well so let's see here who donated so last week we had two donations this week we had one big one a big one you guys it is from miss lisa craven and she is just such a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, she donated $50, you guys. That is the biggest donation yet. And I am just so thankful, Lisa. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me read her little note. It says, I'm happy to support this great cause, XO Lisa. So thank you so much, Lisa. I have your journal ready. It's packaged up and I will be mailing that out either today or tomorrow. And so you guys, for those of you who don't know yet or you don't want to feel like clicking on that video, if you want to receive one of these lovely little journals here, all you got to do is make a donation of $10 or more, and I will mail you one of these beauties. There's a whole bunch of fun to be had. Everyone is beautiful in its own way. So there's a little flip through. There's some stamping. There's some flip outs. There's doilies. I mean, you could totally just take this apart and use pages in there if you wanted to as well. So that is our update for this. I want to show you guys the completed project of that scrapbook page that I did last week. So let me grab that, and I'll be right back. Here is the beautiful scrapbook page all complete in its full glory. So this is what it will look like exactly how it will go into my album. And I am super pleased with how it looks. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. So I added three little silver glitter glue at the top by Park Fun just to make that stand out a little bit. I added a date, which was April 2017. So he was five in these photos here at the time I went to this particular park. I did write on my journaling card and then I cut out this cute little tire swing tree and this dinosaur and I wanted it to match the one up here in the corner as best as I could but I didn't want a purple dinosaur so we have a gray one and I added some white with jelly roll I did white on his teeth and I drew on that facial expression and this dinosaur is popped up on some pop dots so that is my scrapbook page I hope you guys enjoy the completed look of it I adore it and so our project for this week is I'm going to use an 8x10 photo frame and we are going to use vinyl that I have pretty much prepped, ready to go. And we're going to put this saying on there. And it says, autism doesn't come with a manual. It comes with a parent who never gives up. Because we all have those hard days. Now, the only difference is instead of using this manual here, I did the other side of it. So I just did the negative space. I just left the letters on and pulled those out. Because I don't like the way that looks. So I just changed it to this. Okay. So like I said, I have most of my pieces here ready to go. I do have three of my small words that I need to um, take off the backing. And I have a couple of um, yellow dots that I may or may not use. So I have my three words here and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the vinyl right off of here. It's a pretty easy process um, to get started. I don't play a whole lot with vinyl, so I have made plenty of mistakes and I just really need to take my time and concentrate on what I'm doing. I play with vinyl on my paper and I am able to just, you know, throw my paper away if I don't like it, but this is actually going on glass. So I don't really want to mess with cleaning it off of the glass. I am. Some of these colors are Oracle uh, 651, which is an outdoor vinyl. So it's a more permanent vinyl versus just your regular run of the mill, like Cricut or Silhouette or Joann's you know, little vinyl pieces. So, um, it's a little bit thicker or not thicker, stickier. It sticks better. And I, I don't want to mess with pulling it off the glass. So I'm going to do my best to not mess it up. And if I mess it up, then, oh, well, 
I'll just live with it because, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So I have all my little pieces pulled out and now we are ready for me to grab my glass here. So I'm going to pull all these off to the side and I have my transfer tape over there. So I printed out a, um, sheet on an eight, eight by 10 paper or I mean a regular printer paper with my glasses on top of it. And I know that it's a little bit off. It's a little bit wonky, but it's the only way that I could get this to match up and line up because I tried to print it from the the design program and it wanted me to shrink it down to 9.25, I think. And I actually cut all my pieces out uh, when it was all together at nine and a half. So it wouldn't let me print the image. That's why it's a small version of it. Um, Cause I didn't, I couldn't get it to print the big full size version without changing the, the things. And then they would have been a different size. So I know that I want to figure out here, which ones go on these black ones. So my colored words here, cause these big words are done. And so this one goes on here who never gives up. It comes with a parent and it doesn't come with, okay. So these are actually all out of order. <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so let me pull this off to the side so I can do that first, because like I said, it's really sticky. And I don't want to mess these up. So I'm probably going to end up two times in the speed on this video just to get it going a little bit quicker. But here is the transfer tape that I'm going to be using um, to pull these up and put them on here. Now this piece here is quite big and I don't want it to pull up from here. So what I'm going to do is cut this down and then stick it on here. Um, once I'm ready to glue it here. So I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to put this on top within that. If that makes any sense. So I don't want to do that yet because I want to start off with the autism at the top. Cause that's what it says. Okay. Back to this. Change my mind. I want to start from top to bottom. Okay, so I want to do my best to get this squared up. So that's my computer paper. It's on that line. It should be straight. Okay. Something like that. And then this will sit right here just like that. So I'm going to slide that off. And I'm going to grab my transfer tape. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and two times the speed on this. All I'm going to do is take my transfer paper and apply that to the vinyl. And I'm just trying to line it up as straight and as centered as I possibly can. That way it will look the best on the glass within the frame. And this transfer paper that I am using, I had just previously used on a different project. So it isn't as sticky as it would be as if it were coming right off the roll. Um, in that case, if I had used it, some of those letters would not have come off and I probably would have had to recut this word. So anyways, that is the scoop on that transfer tape. But um, yeah, I'm just lining this up. And if I were to do this again on a glass image like this, I would recommend taping it with double-sided tape or mounting putty or something, the image to your glass. That way it is sitting straight and flush and not moving around. I found that really irritating that it kept sliding and coming away and then I was like, oh my gosh, did I put that on there crooked? I mean, it, no, it wasn't that crooked, but you know, just like, oh, it would have given me just a little bit more peace of mind that it didn't slide. And um, I did like having my grid in the background that did help me to keep the paper straight. So that way I knew my transfer paper, uh, the glass was straight because when I'm applying it to the vinyl on my desk, it's not always straight. I don't have it. I should have pulled down the grid and then did it on there to make sure it was completely straight but I mean that's a lot of fussing that's a lot of fussing to be had and I'm not an exact measurer and I don't enjoy being completely precise like that um you know I'm crafting to to craft and get it you know it's handmade and there's just one of these so <laughs> well I mean there's probably a lot of people that have this because it is an SVG file so but um the way it was originally designed it was for one color and I didn't want mine with just one color I could have done that it would have been way easier but I wanted to challenge myself and I definitely wanted to use all of the colors. So the blue, the red, the yellow, and the green. And just accent them in this page, or not page, this picture, this decoration. Um, because I am a maker and I make a lot of different things. I craft a lot of different things and I usually give them away. I usually give my stuff away that I make. So this was something that I wanted to make for myself and have 
you know, on display. I thought it would be kind of encouraging, a little bit motivating, and just realizing that, yeah. I mean, it's not even just, you know, autism doesn't come with a manual. Being a parent does not come with a manual. Like, really, it's, uh, some days are wow. <laughs> some days are wow. And I don't even have words sometimes, um, you know, but yeah, it's, it's rough sometimes, guys. It's rough. I'll just be real. Um, so yeah, we all have a rough days, even, you know, just if you don't even have kids, you, you have a rough day, but I mean, it's like multiplied when you have kid and then you have and a kid with special needs. I think it just, it's just more intensified. It's just different. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I just wanted something that's a little bit more encouraging. I did find another quote that I liked a lot too. It went along the lines of something like, yeah, autism doesn't end in April. It's all year long. And that is true. We, we have autism all year long in my house. It isn't just for the month of April. So like I said, I'm not crafting just to craft, guys. I'm making videos, you know, because I want to. Yes. But also to bring awareness. This is like a special, this is close to my heart. This is different. This is a different type of video. Um, there's a little bit more passion that's going behind it. There's more planning. There's more creativity. Or at least I think there is. I'm trying for there to be. Um, so you guys really get a sense of, you know, my heart. And my heart is my son and those that are touched by autism. And, um... Yeah, I just really want to bring awareness and acceptance and kindness and uh, just just so much more that we could do. We can all do more. And I think I challenge myself to do more and sometimes I need a break and I forget that I have to take care of myself. So yeah, I was stressed. I was stressing. I was a stressing. But in the end, this comes out just fine. Um, this word right here comes is a little bit crooked, but it was like staticky to... From my desk to the transfer tape it just like sucked it right up i don't even know what happened there it just went whoop yep i'm going right here so <laughs> that's where it ended up staying and i'm okay with that because again handmade i made it it's cool it's good to go but um yeah it, you know and i got it on the transfer tape just a little bit crooked i can tell that it is so i was trying to like uh which one's going to be crooked because if i would have put um the comes on there straight with a would have been crooked it would have went up into the manual because I had I had it lined up on the bottom but anyways regardless of that this was a fun project I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I was kind of deciding maybe I wanted to add a couple of vinyl colored puzzle pieces in the background not on the white paper but on the glass itself maybe on the white paper oh I didn't think of that but <laughs> anyway in the background but I thought that might take away from the words or it might make it a little bit more difficult to read and so I'm not sure I'm not sure if I will or not um but if I do I'll show you guys in next week's video the finished product. I mean, I'll still pull this in and show you so you'll see it in the frame and everything. But if I add those elements to it, that'll be, you know, something that you won't see here on camera because I don't do it in this video. It would be like an afterthought, I guess you could say. But anyways, I am just squeegeeing that down on there. Um, when you pull the transfer tape up, make sure you do it at an angle. Um, because if you pull it straight across, it's a lot harder. Um, but if you do it at an angle, it comes off a lot easier and um, you don't have to pull as hard. So when I did that, <laughs> as I was laying it down on my desk to reuse, it rolled up on itself. So I have to use this other transfer paper that I had in my stash previously because I like to save things and get as much use out of them as possible. And this one had been used on a wood project before and it's not as sticky. So I'm struggling to pull these letters up. So if that is you, just do the back of it. Just turn it over like I did right there and squeegee the back of it to the transfer tape and it will come off. Um, but I mean, this transfer tape has had its life. I'm, I'm throwing it away. I'm not gonna have it in my stash anymore because if this would have been a little bit more of an intricate design, I would have been bummed out because it would not have pulled. It would not have pulled a bunch of little pieces and I would have been frustrated. So I'm gonna throw it away. I'm throwing something away. But yeah, this was a really fun project and I am really excited, um, you know, to have it you know, to look at. So I hope you guys enjoy this process. And I think it's kind of fun for you to see me do some different crafting than what, you know, I normally do or what I like to do enjoy. This is like a special project. So like I said, I really hope that you enjoy it. So please let me know down in the comments if you're still watching. No, I'm just kidding. Let me down on the, let me know down in the comments if, um, you know, you ever, you want to see something that you know I haven't seen me do on my channel or if you're struggling with something and you want to see how I do it I can definitely show you so I just need to know you know if you want to see that so just let me know 
anyways here we are finishing this up I'm just gonna squeegee that right down on there and it does come off really nicely I do like how it sticks a lot easier to glass than it does to paper I use vinyl on paper a lot more than I I mean I've never done it on glass quite frankly this is the first time <laughs> so that's why it was a learning experience I am gonna go ahead and put a white paper behind mine and mount it into that black frame I think all of those colors work great together and I'm really pleased with it I hope you guys had a fun time watching I'll talk to y'all really soon bye bye